Chapos. What's going on, Vlad? I'm... Oh, we got calls, baby. Oh, Chapos called and Richie from Boar's Head's called. Well, let Chapo defend himself. Is he online too? Go ahead, Chapo. Defend yourself. What you got, bro? I don't got to defend myself. How y'all doing today? <laughs> doing good, bro. Thanks, good, bro. All right, look. So y'all misconstruing okay. what I'm trying to say, so I'm going to clear it up for okay, y'all real go, quick. Go on. So there's always an outlier, right? We got Nick Wright, Joy Taylor, some people that got a little bit of sense to actually see what the Heat are for what they are. However, y'all, Vlad said he watches all the shows, right? So who's the biggest sports talking head? Stephen A., everybody you can name. Perk, he's Max kind Stoyer. of an outlier, right? Max, we fired. Max Sorry Stoyer. about it. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway. Sorry about it. <laughs> but listen, Jalen, even Jalen Rose fired. Sorry about it. But look, <laughs> uh, they talked about the Heat. I'm not denying that. But how did they talk about the Heat? Oh, there's no way. They're going to get gentlemen swept by the butt. Okay, cool. Sweat, we gentlemen sweep the buck. It's the opposite. The Knicks. Oh, it's the Knicks year. No disrespect, Vlad. Uh, they I don't have it. a chance. They don't have a chance. The Garden, the lights are going to be too bright. Okay, boom. They did say that. Got through that. Boston, same thing. Okay, no way they're going to do it. Oh, they're going to be the first team to get a, a reverse swept. Okay, boom. Got through that. <clears throat> Nuggets, congrats to them. They got the ring. Even after the finals, how were they talking about the Heat? They said they were. Oh, anonymous GM. Uh, the Heat had a fluke run. This is, this is luck. Next year, Giannis is not going to get hurt. Julius Randle is going to be good. Jason Tatum's not going to twist his ankle. It's always uh, an excuse about the heat. Even though real people that live in the city, we know that national media is always going to, people that are locals are always going to feel like the national media hates the team. I get that. But keep that energy now because nobody thought Dame was going to let his nuts hang and actually request a trade to Miami. Then all of a sudden, when he requests a trade to Miami, Oh, he's ring chasing. He, they're trying to defer him from coming here like we're some juggernaut. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I hear what you're saying. But there are also media members that said if Dame went to Miami, Miami would be back in the finals run again. They'd be a contender. The and, outliers, correct. And, I agree with that. And Chapo, here's the other thing. And you know for where we're from. You know how we look at things. If you say something and then you do the opposite, we got to look at you for... You know, you, you stand by your word. That's how. That's my point. Right. Exactly. So if that's Dame, how, so if Dame is, so if Dame is no, but I'm saying if Dame was saying he's not ring chasing, why can't people stay loyal? I want to do that, and then now, he, and now he not, changes. How is he ring? But but who's determining that? That's what I'm saying. Because he's he, going to the team who's the fluke. He's going to the team that are the lucky outlier that that got all the undrafted. These guys can't keep up this play. How is that ring chasing? If he's going to the team that got lucky, but you're the AC. Okay, but you're also okay. I see what you're doing there. But then, like you said, the people that can also say the team that's been the two out of the three NBA finals the last, you know, three years, three, you know, three out of the four Eastern Conference finals, a team that's gone to six or what is it, seven NBA finals over the last 16 years. So you can, I can also say that they've been so, the most successful team, right? Okay, like, but that's cool. So say that though. That's from you, not you. I'm talking about the media. Right. Say that. Well, they Keep got that energy they the whole every, time. Then they play but, every side. They play every. You side. got yeah, man. This is this is. They, that's they, what I'm saying. That's the goofy part about it. You of know course, what I mean? It's that's algorithm. It's all. This is what it is. You know, like you're gonna put it this way right now, right? After this call, we're gonna take Richie, and Richie's gonna go and rip you guys, and that's what it is. It's all about the algorithm. Oh, yeah. By the way, Richie, Richie. I like I like Hillshire Farms. Boar's Head could go to hell. Y'all have a good Sunday. Ah, <laughs> uh, you Thank see you that? That's just wrong. Love. That was love. just wrong. <laughs> oh. I gotta let Richie defend himself go ahead, now. Richie, go on, go on, Richie. You know why, Vlad? Uh-oh. You know why, Vlad? What's up, bros? I was gonna rip Chopo, but now I'm gonna rip your sorry ass. <laughs> you gonna talk all this about nobody respects y'all? We respect you, bro. Everybody respects the Heat. Stop crying, Chapo. You and the rest of the stinking Heat fans, bro. Y'all always talking about give us respect, bro. Look, I'm from the streets. You from the streets too, Chapo? I'm from Brooklyn, bro. We don't play. We don't okay? play. Okay? We respect Her? you, punk. But you from the streets where I'm from, you don't win a championship. You ain't nothing. And I'm going to keep on saying that, bro. I don't care how many times you made it to the finals, bro. Y'all ain't win, Chapo. Shut your mouth. Y'all ain't getting Damian Lillard. You're all happy about this stuff. Oh, Damian's coming here. Bro, he ain't coming here. Stop crying, Heat fans. You sissies. 
All right, all right. I don't know. I'm going to mark the tape right there that says Damian Lillard's not coming here because in the next week that could be a big, big difference. It looks like a lot of the pieces are falling into place. I don't know, man. Winning an Eastern Conference Final is a pretty big deal, man. I mean, yeah, they won some championships, the Eastern Conference Final Championship, but, you know, to each their own. Each their own. Oh, man. One of our new favorite callers now is on. When he, the guy that goes after Richie. I thought Richie and Chapo might be a great battle, but I like Harry and the Gables, man, versus oh, Rich Harry step in. Come on, Harry. What's up, dude? We're not going to let Rich. Every time you say Richie's on the line, then Harry and the Grove is on the line, okay? okay? Good, good. Let me just say this to you, okay? I, I think that, and I want to address the KD thing, because you can't say, all right, pay me, then help me. Okay, you, okay, you can't. Just like Dame is like, you look at Dame. Dane said, pay me. I'm going to stick around. I'm going to, I'm going to work with you um, for 11 years. Okay. But KD says, pay me, but please help. Okay. And we're not going to do that. that. That's not, that's not reality, bro. That's not, that's not, uh, you know, competition. If you're going to get paid, then leave, go out and bring your team to a championship. You understand what I'm saying? That's the way I feel about it, man. And then the second thing is, is that, uh, Vlad, uh, you know, get away from all that drama, dog. Get, 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 you know. <laughs> he likes it yeah, all, man. Come on, man. He likes it. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Hey, but, but Richie, uh, I know you're holding on the line, and I know you hear me. I just want to ask you one question. Um, who did the Heat defeat in the playoffs? They beat the Knicks. They beat my Knicks. Thank you. They beat the Knicks. A, no, 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 no. You don't have to say nothing. You don't have to, you don't have to uh, add to it. You don't have to comment all, on it. It's all good. You it's don't good. have to, you know. Harry, it's all good. Harry is all good. No, no, no. I'm just saying. That, that's what I'm saying. Who did the Heat defeat in the playoffs? The New York Knickerbockers. That's respect. I'll hang up and listen to that's you. That's respect. You got to admit, when you get beat in the streets, you got to admit and say, hey, you're the better team. Oh, I said it. I paid for it. It's not all about championships. It's about everything, man. Miami Heat, get that respect on that. All right, Heat fans. Damien Hollywood. Go ahead, hey, bro. How are you doing? Um, thanks for taking my call. First things first, um, the, I'm, I, I'm not believing this media bluff. Portland got to do right for Damian Lillard, just like they did for Clyde Drexler. The man gave 11 years of hard work, and they couldn't build around him. So in order to save their franchise and the future of having people to try to come there, they got to honor Damian Lillard's request. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, and I think they will. I believe the Heat is going to get it done. And, um, you know, let's go Heat. I know um, Richie wishes that he had the Heat culture. Mm -hmm. I believe that the last time the Knicks won something was 1972. Unnecessary. Unnecessary shots. Yet. Unnecessary shots. Unnecessary. All right. So let's go Heat. I got you on that one right there. Yeah, right, David. Thanks for the call. I, I think in the end, like it's all going to – we're juggling a lot of balls. In the end, this is how it's going to land. Portland's going to do right by Damian Lillard. They're just trying to raise the price and get as much as they can. Hey, fine. Portland has to do right by Damian Lillard. They're going to do right by him. But they, what's they wanna... first? Wait, that's it's second. Most... That's second. You know what's first and foremost? Portland has to do right for themselves. They will, and they will. And that's why they're driving up the price right now. That's why it's taking a little while. That's why they're trying to get a third team in there. That's why all this is happening. So... In a way, they're doing right by Damian Lillard. They're also doing right by themselves. And they're also trying to get Damian Lillard to have them do right for themselves also. They don't want to give him away. They do want him to go where he wants. And then Damian, too, is probably like, hey, I do want you guys to be correctly compensated for my services going somewhere else. That's why you're seeing there's wheeling and dealing. That's why you're seeing the Heat contact the Nets. That's why you're seeing the Nets trading off people. That's why you're seeing all these different teams doing all these different things because it's all in the works so that everyone gets as beneficial of a situation as possible. You'll see how it plays out. Right now, it doesn't make much sense. But in the end, it will make sense. Vlad is laughing like crazy because... Uh, I'm, I, <laughs> I read into YouTube. We also have a call from our boy, uh, Cabbage Roll Pauly. Oh, we love Cabbage Roll Pauly. <laughs> hey, Paul, you on the air? Hello? Yes, I'm. Hey, what's going on, guys? Yo, what up? To talk to y'all. Listen, I, I just want to let something out. I don't know somebody, but I know I'm a true fan. I'm a true. I mean, I'm born and raised in Miami. I do what I got to do. And you got, you got, you got Ferry from the Grove, and you got, you got Richie from Horsehead, 
and you got a guy named after a drug dealer. They, they all think that they're super fans, but the moment that the, the, the S hits the fan, they don't want nothing to do with it, and they just want to come up with it. So that's all I wanted to say. Ride or die, Cabbage Roll Pauling.